Hey everyone, Jacob Macias with Backflip Photo. Today I have another review on a pack from Click Elite. It's their Express 2.0, it is brand new, and this is your first look at it. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is break this video down into two sections. My first section is going to be about the gear and how I have it organized, um, the gear that I'm actually carrying it, and then the second section, I'll actually go into the features of, of this pack and give you a little closer view and hands-on. Um, so the first pocket, um, we have a mesh pocket, we have two mesh pockets. I don't really have any gear in those, but uh, I did put some water bottles and a jacket up in, in here. Um, first pocket, I just use this for my cable throw pocket. Um, I've got all my chargers in there, all the cables that I'm going to need for the trip, uh, a couple cell phone chargers, pretty much any electronic cable, copper cable, it's going in there. Um, right above that is the uh, laptop pocket or tablet storage pocket. This is a padded pocket. This is really great for me because I like taking my tablet with me, um, especially on a trip that I just finished. I finished a couple uh, multi-day trips and I like to take it with me. I've usually had to take a second pack just to secure my tablet and I don't have to do that anymore with the Express 2.0. It's got a pocket. It's uh, able to hold my Vio in there. Um, it's not a very large tablet, but it's, it's uh, big and uh, it would likely fit a 15 inch, no problem. Uh, 17, you're gonna have some problems getting a 17 inch in there, but it's nice foam padding. It's packed very nicely in, in there, it's very secure. Um, and it's a great addition to a pack, especially for my needs. So, got my Vio in there. And then let's go to the top pocket. Uh, the top pocket is your traditional pocket. Um, let's see if you can get inside. Um, we've got some uh, memory card storage and some, some stretch pockets. And I actually doubled this up for a uh, battery instead of a, a, a memory card storage. I can actually put my spare um, Canon battery inside there. A um, couple of memory sl card slots. You've got a clear um, display pocket here. You can put a, an ID or maybe um, some sort of identification that you need to, to show real quickly. And then I've got a filter in the larger stretch pocket. Now up top we have a mesh pocket and in there I just have some a short length cable for some um, trigger release, um, an actual trigger IR, some batteries and some Zeiss cleaning wipes. These things are fantastic if you don't have them. So inside also is a key lanyard, and that is fantastic. Like I said, I just finished a uh, five-day trip to uh, Springfield, Missouri, and it's nice to get back from the flight and, and, and from the trip itself and not have to worry about where my keys are. It's hunting through all the packs that I might have. I have this pack, my, my suitcase, and then, of course, uh, my jean pockets and everything like that. I don't know where my keys might be unless they give me a spot for it, so I'm, I'm a stickler for... A place to actually put my keys so i really appreciate that i have a place for my keys some packs actually don't have that it's kind of odd so um now that all is left is the main goodie compartment so just open that up for you and ta-da um i've kind of unloaded it since i've gotten back i had uh, my camcorder in here um some more chargers um, a spare battery charger and of course my camera charger. So um, I got my 1635, got my camera charger. I had my battery pack charger in there as well. Uh, full frame body, fits really nice, 17, uh, 2470. And yes, uh, that is a 7200 and you can attach it to the body with the way I have it out and it would fit just fine. I just swapped my 2470 to this spot and then I have my 7200. Um, back again are the hourglass dividers and these are really great to nestle a 50 mil in there. Uh, you saw I have my charger in there. Some Anything that's really odd, you know, either circular or rectangular square can fit in there really nicely and it snugs in real nice. It will not fit a lens very well. Um, but that's okay. That's no, not really what they're meant for. You put your lenses over there. Um, so you get four of those. And then this is 
removable. Everything is removable and you can reconfigure this however you need for your situation. But right out of um, uh, delivery, this is how it was and it happened to work really well for, for my situation. So as I go along, I will reconfigure it and get it going. Um, now I noticed when I open this pack that it has this odd flap thing and I've never really seen that on a pack before. So I called Click Elite and I just asked, what was this intended for? And what it's intended for is when you are out in the field and you have your camera and you wanna pop out your memory card and you have your batteries and you spill all your batteries all over the place, they don't go anywhere. They stay in the pack itself and they don't go on the ground. They don't get dirty, you don't lose them. So that's kind of cool. Just <laughs> reassemble all my stuff real quick. Um, so uh, that's what this thing is for. And I thought that was a really neat idea for them to put in it. And I'm kind of not surprised that Click Elite is using their brains. I have never seen this on another pack. There's plenty of other things that they've used their brains on. And so if you want a pack that has a lot of brain power, a lot of thought, Click Elite, they just do it so well. So that's the gear side. Uh, it's completely empty now. Oh, I have my cables in there? Yeah, cables are in there. So outside the cables is completely empty. That is how I packed it. That's how I took it to my trip. Um, it's about 20 pounds of gear and it worked flawlessly. It was, it was fantastic. Um, so let me get into the second section of this video and I'm gonna actually go through some uh, um, details in finer fashion. So. That's the Click Elite breakdown gear wise. Thanks for sticking around for part two of this section where I'm actually going to go into the features of the pack a little bit more, give you some more hands on and um, my impression of how well they worked for me. So um, to start, I guess I need to introduce Click Elite brand. If you're not already familiar with Click Elite brand, they are a an amazing pack manufacturer. They make packs that just, I want to throw it off the mountain. I really want to just see it just tumble down a mountain, just just be in awe at the end when it's just got a couple scuffs and some dirt on it because it just, it will survive anything. So I like buying something than spending money that is going to last. And this pack is going to do that. Uh, Click Elite just has a really good philosophy when it comes to building a really awesome pack. It's just over-engineered. It, doesn't need to be, but I'm really glad they did because that's the pack that I want from me. So to start, um, they've got some YKK zippers. They only use YKK because they're the best. They don't kink and they move so smooth. I love them. So um, let me start with the uh, inside hourglass divider that they have uh, on this pack. There's four. Um, this is the Express 2.0 and right here I have the Luminous pack. Um, uh, divider and they both do the same job. This one feels a little bit thicker. I don't know if it's because this mesh is giving it some more volume or whatnot, but it um, feels like this one's a little bit uh, more cushy. Doesn't really matter because not things aren't really jostling around too much, getting banged up in there. But uh, their hourglass figures are pretty sweet. My 50 will fit in there really nice. Um, it'll take round objects, it'll take square objects, and um, that's really cool. So we already did uh, everything else in here. I showed you the, the, the guard, gear guard. Let's call it the gear guard strap, the gear guard flap. All right, so that's the inside. Um, I guess we go to the back. I, sorry, I'm going to be going back to my laptop because I don't want to forget anything. Um, oh, the molly straps. So on the hip straps now, uh, well, they had some on the Luminous as well, uh, but there's some molly straps and the molly straps are great to be able to lash some extra gear down if you wanted to you know, add like a pocket or something like that or just strap anything to. You got some molly straps built in. Um, another thing about the straps is that they are self-adjusting. So what Click Elite has done is made a loop system for the straps and when they are click together and really this helps when you are um, have a high activity output or just when you're hiking I guess anytime you're moving your body's moving the straps will move with your body so they just pivot up and down which pivots the whole system up and down on your hips it still stays on your hip but 
it moves so it doesn't just gouge into one area in your in your stomach and that's a really good idea because no one likes gouging um, I didn't mention this on the luminous but there's a rain fly and there's also a rain fly on the luminous clicky leap pack um, uh, everyone has those but there it is um, another thing there's a reservoir for a bladder it can hold a two liter bladder and it goes inside um, this pocket here that's between your back padding and the pack itself and there's some sort of plastic reinforcement there um, so it goes through and then on the front you can pull your your hose through with your water piece your mouthpiece and uh, lash it through one of the hooks uh, on the front and use it for hydrating yourself that's a really cool idea um, I really appreciate that because I don't want to put a water bottle in because you know how hard it is to grab a water bottle that's sitting right there like your arms can't do it unless you double jointed people out there or someone who has a wife like me and be like hey water time <laughs> so I'm carrying it so you know what don't judge me so um, in either case uh, let's move on the uh, chest straps have an adjustable about four or five inches which is really good so you can go up and down you can put them exactly where they want I'd assume that is really good for the ladies I don't know but that's there now last but not least something that I didn't know I wanted until I had it a holster system that doubles as a leash they've got it patented I think so good luck to everybody else um, so this is their click draw system called their click draw so what you do is you have a carabiner and it has a special strap um, actually I'll just pull it out um, that goes on to your camera and when it's on your camera it has the strap with the carabiner and you hook it onto one of those red lashings. And the good thing about that is, come here, when, uh, when you're hiking or whatever, um, you don't drop your camera. So theoretically it'll fall and it won't go anywhere. It'll just land safely on your hip. It's still hurt, I mean, that's not light, but that's not the point. The point is the gear stays safe. Um, Another thing about this system, or part two I should say, is that there is a holster system. And what the holster system does is it has a loop here. And what you do is you just pull it in and out, just like a holster system. And it's really cool because I didn't know I wanted a holster system until I had the Click Elite Luminous pack. And um, I used the holster system for the first time. And it was fantastic. It was so great because I could hike, I can bike, you can bike with this system is really nice because before I used to hold it on my shoulder and it would like hit on my handlebars, whatever. And it was just, I didn't do it with this. I can just put it down and it stays nice on my hip and I can bike with it. I can run around with it. It's not going anywhere. And when I need it, I can pull it out. I can, I'm not digging in my pack. I'm not holding on my shoulder and, and having to worry about it. It just goes to where it needs to go. It's a good system. If you don't have a holster system, get a holster system. And if you don't have a holster system, just buy a clicky leap pack because it comes with it. It's not extra but I highly recommend a holster system it's it's a godsend when you are walking in the city when you are walking in a field when you're trying to cross a creek that was a really good idea to have that because I dropped my camera and it didn't hit the creek so um, let's see that's the click draw system and I guess we go to the front oh there's a little whistle on the chest strap which is a really good idea I suppose when I hurt myself in Yosemite and I can't get out and there's a bear coming and I need to get some people's attention and I can't yell because I punctured a lung. If I ever get saved by this whistle, I'm going to find Click Elite's owner and I'm going to take him out to dinner because I just like that he put it on there and it might save my life one day. Who knows? Um, on the front, they have um, an area for you to lash a tripod to. You can put it here. You can also put it on the side. On the side pocket, there's some mesh, and then the bottom is uh, nylon, so you're not gonna punch through it. And at the top of each side is this um, stretchy hook system. And it goes around your tripod or your hiking poles or whatever else you wanna put in there and keep attached and keep it nice and compact against your 
the side of the pack. On the front, same thing, put it in, but on the front what they have are a buckle system and their buckle systems are better than other buckle systems. And I'll tell you why. Because they don't adjust unless you want them to. So what you would do is you unlock the latch and now it adjusts, but then you lock it down and it won't adjust anymore. And that's really cool because when you're pulling your tripod in and out with other systems, they'll adjust and they'll get slack and you'll have to readjust them and, and pull out the slack every time. And with this, it won't do that. You lock it down and it's done moving. So it stays put. So it's just thinking, I know you guys have heard me say it. They just think, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for it because they, they built a hell of a pack. And uh, what do you think of that camo? The camo is pretty cool because it's not something you see. What is nice about the camo actually is that it doesn't look like a very expensive gear is inside this pack. Come and take it. It looks like a backpack and maybe a backpack that someone wouldn't want to steal, I hope. Um, but that's why you have insurance, so get insurance. Another thing I want to mention about the pack is that it's it's built for an urban environment. It's built for uh, being able to put it in an overhead compartment in an airplane. It, it fits very well in that environment. It has a laptop holder. It's, it's meant for city trekking, but it can also very much get out and dirty and, and run around. Not quite as, as well as some of their other hiking geared focused packs, such as their Luminous. This is their Luminous pack. And, um, this is a great pack as well. It's just that they are meant for kind of different crowds or different ideas, I should say. So this pack is more, like I said, the urban city. You can put a laptop in it. You can walk around with it. You're not carrying a lot of extra bags to carry like a laptop and stuff like that. It holds more gear than the um, camera gear than this. This one can hold more hiking gear, backpack, shoes, things like that. So there is a give and take. Um, if you wanted just a quick answer between the two, this one is hiking and climbing and rock climbing, things like that. This is also hiking, but more day hiking, um, but definitely travel pack. If you want to travel, it's this one. So um, please join me for my head to head between these two. I'm going to be showing you the, the, the differences between them um, and do some different activities and show you which one would work for which one and then you can have a nice list and and choose the pack that's good for you um so be sure to subscribe and um thanks for joining me for my express 2.0 it's a great pack love it um i'm going to be doing some more field testing with it um, and i have some field test videos for both of these some hands-on field testing uh, besides the head-to-head -head. so subscribe to my, my channel so you don't miss that um, so thanks for joining me